So here is team back again. Happy 4th of July before I start. Also, as you know, the usual drill, not a financial advice, do your own due diligence. Market is at a crossroad for a pullback. Uh, it's bearish, no, no way, no means, but I'm expecting a pullback. And why? I have moved the RSI rather than, you know, I'm focusing on your chart. I will go to the, you know, spy uh, candles and look at that as well. You know, but currently we are at a confluence zone. So this confluence zone tells you that we are going to get a push down. How big of a down uh, will be nice. And below that, we can say we go in a bear mode. But as you have already seen the confluence shown on the spy, uh, the RSI, now look at the trend line. So this top, this top, and we are hitting that. And this wedge, uh, expect a fall off around 425.50 area and 424. Uh, below that, if that happens and I see the dynamic changes, I'm gonna come back and talk about that. We already crossed the 161 fib, uh, I'm sorry, 1.5 fib. Uh, can it go to 161? We are kind of there, right? 161, uh, which we went high off 434.10, so which is around the 61 fib, which market loves. So I am expecting uh, very much a uh, you know, pullback from here, test this area, and then continue grinding higher. This is what you can expect. Uh, anything can happen, goes over this, it'll be another moonshot, and RSI is already overbought, can stay in overbought area here, you know, for ages. So, uh, that's the spy. Any question, leave your comment in the comment box. We'll try and answer as much as I can. Uh, cues. Did we talk and cues trend on the RSI side? There's no weakness yet, but we are definitely in the overbought zone. Uh, can we continue grinding higher? We can. I have no idea right now, but I'm thinking this particular trend, sorry, this particular trend is going to resist and push it down. Below this, yeah, that will be a little bit bigger pullback, but right now expect uh, this price to be, again, high. We might pull back and test that this area around 347.48, that'll still be constructive for the market, bullish for the market. So if you see that happening, uh, that shouldn't surprise you. Market is bullish. These are the little pullbacks that does happen in the market time and again. So don't get surprised. Uh, if you have, again, question on the cues, what do you think? And you know what's your opinion? Uh, feel free to put in the comment box. Again, the same thing I am expecting in this. So before the earnings, I am expecting Q to be definitely around 370 area, but I'm not expecting this move, but market does not care what I expect. Market will give you the opportunity when and wherever it presents. So that's your cues, Apple, one of the most bullish names, and it has crossed all the point and heading towards all the way super overbought and can still be overbought and touch the all time high before it starts pulling down. Can it go uh, north and market go south? Yes, that's my expectation on the Apple. Or Apple might consolidate in this area before making next leg higher with the market. Apple will not do a much bigger drop if market drops, uh, you know, from the percentage perspective, Apple will be very small pullback in the Apple, what I'm expecting. Uh, Facebook, huge run, and now where we are. 
So if you see how critical is your um, RSI it's testing, and it can do another sideways here, you know, sideways here and boom up, you know. So that is what I'm expecting that do sideways, do sideways, come back, test around 338, 340 and bounce to 373, doable. But this week uh, it will consolidate. Um, there was one name I'm gonna take out today is JD, which made kind of, you see the pattern bottom and higher low. So you see low, higher low, high, higher high. Now, if we are holding this area, that will make another higher low, and then we'll push it to this area. So even though market might pull back, I am bullish on the JD, and JD might hit 84 this week. And the RSI is also kind of pointing you that it's going to hold and it's going to touch again here. So that's uh, JD for you. Uh, JBlue, uh, which has right now, you know, we made a you know, downward move. We are in a very big downtrend, you can say. Uh, from the current market perspective and consolidating it in this area. So this move can take you, you know, further down, break this or take this up. Uh, you know, I don't like to talk in that term, but what I see is <clears throat> here, the bullish divergence kind of happening. So I am in the bull camp again on this. The question is how high it is going to go. So it will hit the 50 MA before, you know, it can take a breather. So which is going to take you here around 1850 area and, you know, take a breather, breather, and then boom up. So that is uh, what can, you can expect similar move uh, on the every individual uh, name on the airline sector. Next one, Microsoft. And Microsoft is going to be hitting their top, which is telling you there will be a slider pullback and continue grinding higher because market is bullish. Once it turns bearish, we'll start looking bigger downside on those. But right now, there's nothing which tells you that it's a bearish. Next week, pullback in the market is all I'm looking at. And I could be wrong uh, because no one can uh, say that market has topped out. No one knows the tops and bottoms. Uh, is markets, uh, Microsoft is going to make this move here uh, and test this RSI and drop a little bit around this area, which will be constructive for the market. Amazon is another bullish case consolidation for these big names. As you see, we are still holding this trend line. Can pull back and rest around 3,400, um, absolutely. And that is not going to be uh, bad. Actually, if you see uh, a lot of names kind of making off late cup and handle, which gives you the similar measured move which I have kind of calculated already, we are going to see around 3950 uh, to 4000 uh, 4, area in the Amazon before the earning. Uh, back to uh, some of the weed stock, which is gonna make run. So be careful and on the watch. Once we break this, we are going to see huge move up around this area. So which is about 36 in the next four or five weeks. So that will be kind of huge move up in the weed sector. That's what I'm going to say. Uh, next name is 
AMD, which again had a huge run across all the limits. This is what I was projecting, 361. Now we are over that, so I'll have to make a new uh, fib. So let's do that as we talk, because just want to give you guys perspective on this name, uh, which is bullish, but I am expecting again the pullback because it's overextended and needs a breather. Can it come back to 89? That'll be a huge support uh, for that. So expect 89, you can really go, go long on this name. Uh, Roku. Right at this particular trend line resistance, you see how critical those lines are, where it's hitting, how critical is your fib levels are, which is hitting and pulling down. That means we should see 390 area, uh, 390 and odd, that will be a good opportunity back again in the Roku. Also, if you try to draw a line on the RSI, which is going to tell you that, you know, it's going to come and retest that, good buying opportunities. <clears throat> so those were the names uh, I'm talking about. Uh, one name I forgot is the Walmart. And Walmart, um, <clears throat> what I see, the uprising trend, which means, you know, break this out and it'll be huge move coming, you know. So I'm expecting midterm target uh, <clears throat> 162 by mid-October. It could happen even earlier than what you, you, I think, and I can say what you think because I don't know, but <clears throat> uh, it could happen very well in August as well, but definitely October, uh, I'm expecting that. Let's talk about some of the Bitcoin part. And I am bearish on the Bitcoin, not anymore. Uh, why? Because the longer term and here it's consolidating in this area. So unless it breaks down below that and we start closing below 3,100, I'll be bare again on the Bitcoin. But right now, what I have to show you the magical part is weekly. And we have been here tested and bounced with a big hammer telling you that the coin is going to run. So let me know your comments and thoughts if you think anything other than that. If you need more explanation, want me to do a YouTube live, please go and put your comments in the uh, comment section. Uh, I need at least 10 comments for doing a YouTube live. So when I can take your live questions and answer that, you know, I'm, I know I do not have that many subscribers and I'm not sure uh, how many people really see that. So if you guys are interested in doing me a live session, I am all uh, game for it. Let me know. Thank you and have a very, very wonderful uh, 4th of July. Have a nice weekend. Happy and enjoy the day with your family and friends and get ready to rock the market. Thank you and have to see you again next week. Bye-bye.